Quitting your job can be one of the most daunting things that you can ever do. Even the thought of quitting your job could potentially be extremely scary. I am so scared. Trust me, it crossed my mind tons of times until I actually did it. Look, let's be real right now. I'm pretty sure if you clicked on this video and you're watching it right now, it's because the thought of quitting your job has crossed your mind. Whether it be something you've thought about, something that you're currently thinking about, something that just passes your mind every once in a while. Chances are, if you clicked on this video, it's something that you're actually currently thinking of, even if you're doing it subconsciously. How did you know that? So today's video is going to be focused on just that, on quitting your job, whether or not you should do it, and a few tips that you should take into consideration before you actually quit your job. To start, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my experience and how I was able to finally quit my nine to five. Quitting your job, like I mentioned earlier, can be extremely scary. The moment that you do it, you're pretty much filled with uncertainty, depending on the path you choose to take. In my case, I wanted to go the entrepreneurial route, or at least focus on something that I wanted to do. At the time, maybe about two years ago, I was working IT and honestly, I didn't like it. It was the same thing over and over. There was people asking me the same exact questions. Why isn't my email opening? Why is my computer so slow? And honestly, nine out of 10 times, my answer or my fix to everything was always, did you turn it off and back on? Did you restart your computer? The same thing every single day from nine to five. And honestly, it got quite boring. <sighs> I got tired of being in an office. I got tired of being told what to do all the time. I got tired of having a manager telling me to go here, go there, go fix this, go do this, go do that. It honestly wasn't my thing. I didn't like it and I wasn't happy. Now, I know a lot of you can relate whether or not you're working in the IT field or if you're working any other corporate nine to five or if you're working retail or customer service, a lot of people feel this same exact way. Now, when you quit your job, you have a few different options. You can either quit your job and go into business for yourself or you can quit your job and work with another company. Now, of course, when you quit your job to work for another company, you need to make sure that the company you're going for is something that you like, it's something that you won't mind doing, or even better, something that you would actually enjoy doing. Now, one thing that you need to do before you actually even start to consider quitting your job is making sure you have some sort of backup plan or some sort of money coming in to help you stay afloat. I hope you've saved some money. Because honestly, if you decide to just quit your job with absolutely no plan, I mean, things can potentially work out. You know, you could get lucky, you might come across a great opportunity. <laughs> But chances are, for the most part, for most people, if you just quit your job without any backup plan or without any funding sources, then chances are you're going to end up right back where you started, either in the same position or possibly even in a worse position. When I was working IT, I quickly found out that that is not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to focus my entire life on it. So I started doing something about it. What did I do? I started my own business. I started multiple businesses. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. But at the end of the day, the ones that ended up working, I stuck with. For one, I started printing t shirts. I started printing t shirts and I started offering them to local businesses and I started getting a little bit of money that way. Then I started finding out new online businesses, started selling on Etsy. Then I started drop shipping. I started a little bit of affiliate marketing and little by little, I started getting income from a bunch of little sources. So if one day one of those sources decided to, for some reason, X out, maybe my Etsy account got banned, or even if I got fired from my nine to five, for whatever reason, I still had a bunch of little income sources coming in to help me out. So one thing that I highly, highly, highly suggest you do before you even start to consider quitting your job, is have multiple income sources coming in. Start a side hustle, start an e-commerce business, start drop shipping, start selling digital items, whatever it is that you like to do, try to start a side hustle based around that. Is it gonna be tiring? Is it gonna be hard? Are you gonna have sleepless nights? Yes, yes, and yes. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be worth it. Trust me, put in the work now and sleep later. I finally rest. After a while, the time finally came and I had to make my decision. Am I gonna stay here and keep wasting time or am I gonna try to go into business for myself? No, I got us a brand new business or am i just gonna go to a different job that's gonna make me happier i like my job at the time my first thought was i'm just gonna go into business for myself and i'm gonna see how it goes a business is open for business so finally once i felt secure enough to actually leave my job once i had a few different income sources coming in to help me stay afloat i decided i'm leaving i'm leaving the field of it and i put in my two weeks notice I now, that's one thing that I really want you all to know, even though a lot of companies out there won't give you any notice and they'll just fire you on the spot. You don't want to burn bridges because you never know when you're going to have to go back. We want you back. So always be courteous and give your two weeks. Be professional, because again, if something doesn't work out and you need to go back to that job for whatever reason, they're not going to take you if you decided to quit on the spot. If you decided to make a scene like in that one movie, I forgot what it was. I think it was waiting where the guy gets up and he says, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You're cool. I quit. While it might be extremely tempting to do that, trust me, I've wanted to do that so many times in past jobs. It's not ideal. It's not professional. And in the long run, it can really hurt you. <sighs> 
industries are like little communities and word could potentially travel fast. Say, did you all hear the news? No, why? So I quit my job and things didn't necessarily go the way I expected them to. Even though I did still have money coming in from a few different places, at the end of the day, I live in a really big city and in this city, it's extremely expensive. So it didn't necessarily work out the way that I wanted it to. But that's not to say that it went the wrong way either. During that time that I was working for myself and I was doing my own thing, I thankfully had the chance to be able to find out really what it is I like to do. And on top of entrepreneurship, I really liked making videos. And I liked educating people on what they can do to be able to meet their goals or in the long run, just end up being happy. The experience that I had trying to quit my job, starting up my businesses, I wanted to relay that to people that felt the same way that I was feeling because I know for a fact there's millions upon millions of people that feel that same exact way. There's tons of people that want to get rid of the nine to five lifestyle. They want to quit their job. They don't like where they're at. They don't like how toxic it is. And I can resonate with that. I understand what that's like. And I was able to do something about it. So I wanted to be able to get that message out there to everybody else. So that way everyone can know you can do this too. You can quit your job. You can find happiness in whatever it is you want to do. You just have to be smart about it. Noted. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I was able to quit my job and I was able to find what I wanted to do and that was content creation and making videos on top of making a little bit of money on the side with my entrepreneurship. So I kept on with my YouTube channel and that started growing. I started making some money, kept on with affiliate marketing until I was able to come across the amazing opportunity that I found with AutoDS. They needed a content creator, somebody that knew the business, somebody that knows how to make videos. And in which case I applied and here I am bringing you all of the different videos when it comes to drop shipping. Working a job like the one that I'm working right now with AutoDS is so much better. It's so much more freeing. It makes me feel a lot happier than actually being in an office nine to five. Now I'm not knocking nine to fives. There's people that love them. It's the lifestyle for some people, if not for the majority of people. Nine to fives is pretty much what most people need in order to actually get by. But for those of you that can't stand to be in the office, for those of you that want to be in business for yourself or just simply find something else that wants to make you happier, then know that it's possible. It's possible to escape the nine to five and ultimately just do your own thing the way that you want to do it. So if you're looking to quit your job and you really want to leave your nine to five or whatever grind it is that you're doing, start a side hustle, start a few different side hustles, continue with them a little bit, be patient because honestly, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. It took me, I want to say about three years to finally be able to actually get the courage and feel well enough to be able to leave my nine to five. And trust me, when I did it, it I was full of uncertainties. I walked into a brand new life full of uncertainties because I didn't know if I was going to be getting business. I didn't know if I was going to be getting orders, but at the end of the day, it was worth it. Having those different hustles really helped me stay afloat in order to be able to find what I really wanted to do and what I really enjoyed doing. So what can you do in order to actually quit your nine to five or quit your hustle or quit your grind, whatever job it is that you're working? How can you get started with actually quitting your job? Well, first of all, like I said, start a side hustle, start a few different side hustles, keep on with them for as long as you need to until you feel safe enough and secure enough to be able to leave your job. As a general rule of thumb, I would say save up maybe six or seven months of money if possible before you even start to consider actually quitting your job because you don't know how it's going to be the moment that you leave. You don't know how the next month or two are going to be after you quit your job. So always try to have some sort of backup plan or some sort of backup funds. On top of that, make a plan. Make a plan of what you want to do. Do you want to be an entrepreneur? Do you want to go into business for yourself? Or do you think you want to just take the time to be able to find yourself and ultimately find what you want to do? while working for somebody else. If you want to work for somebody else or if you want to become an entrepreneur, it's okay. It's up to you. It's whatever makes you happy. Once you're comfortable enough to actually make the jump, to take the leap, to take the risk, then take the risk. But again, take a calculated risk. Don't just take a risk and go off of blind faith because that can turn out to be very bad sometimes. I lost. Take a calculated risk. Have your backup plan. Have your backup funds. I can't stress that enough. You don't want to end up going underwater or going into more debt or even running the risk of having to not pay certain things such as utilities, maybe your car, maybe your phone, just because you went into something blindly. Now, when it does come time for you to actually leave the job, don't burn your bridge. Don't burn bridges because like I mentioned earlier, different industries can be like small communities and word can travel fast. Let's say you're working for a law firm. A lot of law firms keep in contact with each other. A lot of law firms talk about certain things. So chances are maybe one day these two lawyers are having lunch or dinner or whatever it is. And one of them starts talking about how they have a potential new hire. The other one asks him, oh, who is it? They tell him it's George from New York. And then the first law firm is going to say, wait, I actually employed them at one point and they decided to just quit. They stood up on top of the counter and they started screaming at everybody, telling them them that they quit and they only told one person that they were cool and that was not me 
So don't hire that guy because he's unreliable and he'll quit on the spot. Of course, that's probably an exaggerated situation, but again, word travels fast in different industries, so don't burn your bridges. Even though a lot of big companies aren't scared to burn bridges with you, you need to be cautious because you're not that big company. You're not making as much money as these big companies are. If you were, chances are you wouldn't be watching this video. So, and finally, once you actually make the jump and you take the risk and you finally quit your job, remember that there's going to be hard times. There's going to be a lot of times where you might not have any business. You might go a month, you might go two months without having a single order or customer contact you. And in these cases, that's when you really need to stay resilient and you need to keep pushing forward. If you decide to quit early and you think this isn't for me, this is too hard. I'm worrying too much about what's coming next. Then chances are you could potentially be missing out on a lot of rewards in the near future. But at the same time, I can understand that those risks and those things that you have to think about aren't necessarily for everyone. Some people hate the anxiety. Some people hate having to feel like they don't know what's coming next. And I totally get that. I understand entrepreneurship is not for everyone. So those are the people that while it's good to quit your job, if you're not liking it, you need to be looking for another one. You need to be actively looking for something that's going to actually make you happy. Like I said earlier, quitting your job is not for everyone. Entrepreneurship is not for everyone. But at the same time, the typical nine to five grind is not for everyone. So find out what makes you happy. Be true to yourself, find yourself and make an informed decision. Don't just run into the darkness thinking you're going to find light because chances are a lot of the times that's not going to happen. Most of the time you're probably just going to end up slamming into a wall. At the end of the day though, in my personal opinion, the risk that you're taking with quitting your job in the long run is going to be worth it. Whether or not you succeed in entrepreneurship, if that's even what you're going for, is going to be worth it for the simple fact that you're going to know or you're going to find out what you want and what you need. Plans can drastically change. Remember, I quit my job thinking I was just going to go into entrepreneurship only and I was going to be in business for myself. Obviously, that didn't necessarily work out the way I wanted it to, but I found something better. I found something that I actually enjoyed doing again making these videos, making these entrepreneurship videos, these dropshipping videos, informing all of you and being able to help somebody else. So remember that quitting your job doesn't necessarily mean quitting your job to go into business for yourself. Quitting your job just means leaving behind the old and starting something new that you actually enjoy. Whether that be entrepreneurship, another nine to five, or simply just working for another job that gives you freedom in the hours that you work. And that was my story along with a few different tips that I can give you in order to hopefully help you find what you want to do. Whether that be quit your job or find another one, hopefully this video helped you out and served as some sort of inspiration. Hopefully my story was able to inspire you. I know this was a completely different type of video than what you're used to, but the reason I ended up making it is because I know a lot of people are watching these videos with the dream of one day going into business for themselves or ultimately quitting their nine to five or corporate job. So again, hopefully this video served as some sort of inspiration for you. If it did, please make sure you smash that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you Terry, for watching. It truly does mean a lot. Please make sure you share these videos. It helps out the channel. It helps me out and it helps get all of this information out to all of you. With that being said, my name is Mario with Out of DS and I'll catch you all next time.